Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix and download HP drivers onto your computer for your printer software. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, but we want to navigate over to google.com. Now you want to type in HP printer drivers and then you want to hit enter. You want to go underneath the domain that says support.hp.com or it should be an HP domain here. Uh, HP software and driver downloads for HP printers, laptops, desktops, and you can see it goes on and on. I would highly recommend you get it directly through Hewlett Packard's website. You don't download it through some advertisement that might be on the side of your screen. So again, you just want to left click on that to open it up. And now at this point you would begin entering in your product number or serial name so you would insert it right here. So it should be on the printer itself. So if you have an HP model something you would just start typing it in. So at this point they even give you a couple examples here. So you could start typing in laser and you notice it's going to have to probably be a little more specific than that. But let's just say we're going to be downloading this HP Color Laser Jet printer. And again this will be a pretty similar process depending on what kind of printer you're using. You can see this obviously looks like more of a commercial printer, but the concept still applies. So you can see it's already detected our operating system here. And if you're looking to install this software for a different computer that's not running your current version of Windows, you can click on this change button and then customize what version you want to download it for. And you can do the same if you're running a Mac OS or a Linux based operating system. So underneath driver product installation software, there should be a download button right here. You want to click on the download and it should begin depending on what kind of printer software you download and which printer it is. Download might be a little bit bigger. In my case it looks like it's about an 85 megabyte file so definitely allocate a good amount of space for this depending on exactly what kind of printer you're running but it should be done in about 40 seconds here so we're just going to wait it out. And then once it's done, you just want to left click on the executable one time to begin running it. I'm going to minimize it out of the web browser and you see it is a verified publisher here. So you want to make sure it does have a verified publisher name. And then you want to click on run. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So at this point, it's really going to depend on what printer you're installing. So we're going to not jump too specific in this video. But at this point, it should be pretty self-explanatory. So even if we click on continue here, this should be pretty similar for everybody. You'd have to agree to the end user license terms. Click on next. And you can see it actually is beginning to install the software. Now, depending on the printer, it might require a little bit more information, but we can see it's going right into setting it up for us. Okay, so at this point, you're going to have to select the connection option here. So if you are connecting through a wired connection, you want to select the first option. And the second option here is a USB port. Now, this is likely an older printer 
because more and more often you're going to have connections that are going to be via Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to put that out there. You guys will very likely have a third option if it's a newer printer. So you're more than welcome to select that and that would probably be considered a wireless network. And for this tutorial I'm just going to connect later and I'm going to select next just so I can show you guys what the end screen looks like and we can see it says the software has been installed successfully and we can see since I opted to install and connect later it says the HP device has not yet been connected to the computer but if you click on finish here and I went underneath printer and scanners now this is a little bit newer in the newer versions of Windows 10 so I'm just going to put that out there if your appearance looks a little bit different so there you go guys it's basically been installed on our computer and if we open up the shortcut that's been created on our desktop it'll give us options to connect to a new device or add additional software to it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.